Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a comfortable memory foam mattress that's also a great value, you've come to the right video. Today we're talking about the Nectar mattress. We're gonna take a look at its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. There you're going to find some other reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Nectar. You'll also find some great coupons in the YouTube description below. So as the name suggests, this mattress comes from Nectar, producer of some very high quality and great value mattresses. This is the Nectar Classic, their flagship model. Has some very comfy memory foam right on top and some great cooling features as well. How does it all work? Let's find out right now. So now let's take a look at the construction of the Nectar mattress. First off, it is 12 inches tall. Then starting off on top and working our way down. So first off on top, you have a cooling cover, very thin and breathable as well. First top layer here, you're gonna have a thick layer of gel infused memory foam. Definitely has that, that kind of quick sandy feel right on top of the mattress. Also again, infused with gel to help with cooling. Below that, you're gonna have a foam transition layer very bouncy, very responsive as well. Add some more response to the top of the mattress. Below that, you're gonna have a base support foam, very durable and firm as well. So what does all that mean? Well, first off, speaking of cooling, it is an all foam mattress. It might trap a little bit of heat. That being said, it does have a cooling cover right on top here and a gel infusion in the top memory foam layer as well. And speaking of durability, taking a look at its construction, this you know high density foam here, high density foams right on top, a very nice cover, should last for between seven and 10 years. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought this mattress was close to a six and a half out of 10, about medium in terms of firmness. That's because on top you do have some softer layers, easy to press into, beneath that some firmer, more supportive layers. I also want to note though that I'm a larger person, I'm 250 pounds. If you weigh less than these, it might feel softer to you than it did to me. But again, for me, a six and a half out of 10. Now, speaking of feel, on top it has that slow moving kind of quicksand feel. Again, press my hand in, takes a little bit of time to reform. So it kind of has that quicksand feel right on top. But to test out the bounce, we have our ball here. I mean, look at that. The ball just pretty much completely dies on top of this mattress. Not too surprising with slow moving memory foam right on top. So overall, not too easy to move around on the Nectar. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on this mattress. Starting off my back, a very good match for me, a nice balance of comfort and support. My hips sink in the right amount, good lumbar support, excellent contouring as well. Moving to my side, some pretty good pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. However, I am a larger person. I'm pressing pretty far into this mattress. I'm around 250 pounds. If you weigh less than me, you should feel better pressure relief on the Nectar. However, moving to my stomach, not quite supportive enough for me, especially someone of my weight. My hips are bowing in and I'm getting out of alignment. Here at Mattress Clear, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my back, side, and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my side sleeping results, specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started. If you sleep with a partner, you also wanna think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress, your partner moves around on the other side, are you gonna feel that motion or not? Now, to test out the motion transfer on the Nectar, place a glass of water here, then push the other areas around it. There's really not too much disturbance in the water. A little bit there, apply more from the frame, not the mattress. And that's because we have some slow moving foam right on top of the mattress, handling this motion transfer quite well. And to further test out the motion transfer on this mattress, I laid down on one side and Tanner moved around on the other side. He changed positions, he got in and out of bed, and I didn't feel too many hips movements transfer to my side of the mattress. Overall, a pretty good handling of motion transfer. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also wanna think about edge support. Basically, if you're sitting down or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more going to roll off and onto the floor? 
So here I'm sitting down near the edge of the Nectar mattress. It is collapsing a little bit under my weight, but not too much. I can lean over and tie my shoes comfortably. Now lying down on this mattress, I can lie very close to the edge, not collapsing too much under my weight. So overall, some decent edge support. So now let's talk about the pros and who I think the Nectar might be a good fit for. First off, it's a great option if you like that slow moving memory foam feel. When you lie down on the neck, you're gonna slowly sink in, feel some great contouring and great pressure relief as well. Off of that, it's a great match, I think, for side sleepers, specifically average weight side sleepers and lightweight side sleepers. You're gonna sink in and feel almost no pressure on your shoulders and your hips. Lastly, I think also a great match for back sleepers. A very good balance of comfort and support on this mattress. Very comfy, but also has some good pushback and some great support. So an excellent match for back sleeping. So now let's talk about the cons of who I think this mattress might not be the best fit for. First off, if you prefer more of that balanced foam feel with more response to it, probably not the best match for you. This has more of that kind of slow moving memory foam feel, so you might want to look elsewhere. Also, I think if you're a much larger person, over 250 pounds, probably not the best match for you. Probably look for something with some more supportive material, such as coils in the support layer. And off that as well, probably not the best match for stomach sleeping. This is around a medium firm mattress, so you probably need something on the firmer end. If you're taking a look at the Nectar, you might want to know how it compares to one of its major competitors, the Purple Mattress. Let's do that right now. So first off, there are some major construction differences, namely in the comfort layers. With the Nectar right on top, slow moving memory foam, but on top of the Purple, a unique hyperelastic gel polymer that's firm and pressure leaving at the same time. This gives it a different feel to the Nectar Mattress. So with the Purple Mattress, kind of a squishy gel-like feel, it's also quite responsive. With the Nectar, again, more of that slow moving memory foam feel. Speaking of firmness though, they are quite close, a six and a half for both mattresses. So who should get one and who should get the other? In terms of who should get the Nectar, I think a better option for lighter sleepers, side sleepers, and also fans of slow moving memory foam. I think the purple's a better option if you want something a little bit more durable, a little bit more supportive, and a better match for combination sleepers. So the Nectar mattress is a bed in the box mattress. It's going to come to your house in a cardboard box. How do you unbox it? Well, first off, ask a friend for help. These boxes can be quite heavy. You don't wanna hurt or strain yourself. Then bring that box inside and into your bedroom. Open up the top of the box and take out your rolled up mattress. Then place it on your framer foundation and slowly carefully cut the layers of plastic. You don't wanna damage your brand new mattress. Then give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely off gas and expand and you're good to go. So now I have to give you some additional information about the Nectar mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, a 365 night sleep trial, a forever warranty. They offer other mattress models, accessories and financing as well. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this mattress, head over to mattressclarity.com for the best coupons. <music> So now I have to answer some frequently asked questions about the Nectar mattress. The first question is, is the Nectar a good mattress? In our opinion, it is definitely a good mattress, but it's more about what you're looking for. If you like that slow moving memory foam feel, you're a side or back sleeper, a great option for you. However, if you're a larger person, you like something more supportive and something for stomach sleeping, I'd probably look elsewhere. The second question is, can you flip the Nectar mattress? And the answer is no, you cannot flip this mattress. It's only designed to lie one way with support layers on the bottom, transition layer on top of that, the comfort layer then, and on top, the cover. The last question is, how long will the Nectar mattress last? Now, this does depend on your weight and how often you use the mattress, but taking a look at its construction, its materials, should last for between seven and 10 years. In the end, I think the Nectar is a great option if you like that slow moving memory foam feel, you're a side sleeper or you're a back sleeper. Well, that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a new mattress, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.